Hello friends. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Today I am going to discuss about the work manager. So what is the work manager and how we can use it in the flutter. So in a simple way I have just pasted a definition here and you can see here work manager is intended for task that requires a guarantee that a system will run them even the app exists. For example, if you are going to run a specific command or you are going to op operate a specific operation, even your app is not running in the background, still you can use the work manager and you can call all the functions using the work manager. For more definitions and all other things, you can consider this uh, thing and you will see here. Uh, it simply says that schedule task with work manager okay so work manager is a recommended solution for persistent work so you can uh, read all these things even your system is uh, rebooted and still the background process will work whenever you're going to perform any background task you will use the work manager so you can see there are some persistent work is immediate long running and deferable so there are two types of main work manager types. So there's a one time if you are going to perform activity for only one time, you will use the work manager okay, for one time function. And if you are going to perform some operations on daily basis or a specific interval of time, you will still use the work manager. Even your app doesn't exist. Okay, so uh, let's start and how we can uh, work and how can we use the work manager. So, first of all, you will see here, I have just run the application and uh, I just create a simple application with a main function, with a my app, with a stateful widget and uh, yes, then you will see here, this is a material app and that thing, okay. So, I just create here a new state less widget, okay. And here, I will write here the home page. So, uh, this my app should be a stateless widget, okay. Uh, it should not be it doesn't convert into here a stateful I doesn't have any option but it's better the my app the first uh, the running app the first app should be the first screen uh, should be the first widget should be the stateless widget okay so I have a stateless widget here okay and now I just write here the scaffold okay so I just put here the scaffold and after after the theme I just put here the home and I'm going to write here the home page so you will see the home page as a white screen okay now in the scaffold i just put here the body and i just write here in the center i can create here one function okay sorry one uh, button uh, let's consider that this is the button as an elevated button okay so elevated button have the on press functionality and i'm going to write here the child as a text and just write here uh, execute or uh, schedule task so just write here the schedule task so you will see in the center i have a button here okay now how to use the work manager so let's start with it if you are new here then kindly subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to see more interesting videos so uh, how to use the work manager first of all i have to go to the uh, dart packages and just write here in the pub.dev I'm going to write here the work manager so you will see the work manager just press the enter and you will see this work manager okay so how to install it so first of all go to the installation and just copy this line and paste it in the terminal just like uh, so not in the terminal we have to write in the pubspec.yaml so just write in the here and paste it and run it okay after successfully importing all the work manager libraries uh, now you have to go to the readme file and just read all the things that you can see okay for the android setup you will follow this guideline and for the ios setup you have to follow this guideline 
okay so these are the things that you have to follow and share uh, just remember that its kotlin version should be the 1.5.0 plus and in the android manifest your android name is flutter embedding and the android will value too it's almost uh, there in 2022 when you create the project uh, both will be updated into according to this okay so uh, after the uh, for the ios you have to follow this these guidelines so these are not so tough so after this how can we, how can we do how can we perform the operations so um, you have to follow these guidelines also let's make it uh, workable for you okay so uh, what i will do i will go to the uh, main dot art file and here because our background task will work on the main thread okay so on the main thread what i will do i have to create one function okay so uh, how to get one function let's create a function here and the name of our call back dispatcher okay that will that that is the function that will run in our background okay so uh, in this function what i have to do first of all let's create here a one variable and let's write here the task name the first task name that i want to perform okay so i just write here first task okay so just write this one now here uh, what i need to do i need to create uh, i need to perform some operation in this function and what i need to write here i need to write here the i need to call the work manager and then put here the execute task okay so execute task will accept two parameters the first one is the uh, is the task name and then what is the input data that we need to follow so just write here and let's start something writing here okay i need to write here like uh, you will see here this is um, uh, this function uh, needs uh, like this function uh, return something should return something so what i will return i will return whatever the things come into the future as a value and put the true here okay so you can read this one why i'm writing here get a future completed with the value okay so whatever the uh, operation performed in the future it will return because we are working the execution task in the future so that is the function of the work manager so i'm just returning the future value okay so after this what i need to write here uh, in the execute task i will write here a switch case okay so this is the switch case i'm going to write okay so here i need to write it the task name the task name that i'm going to perform whatever the task name that it has okay so first case so let's write here the first case okay so the first case if the first case is the first task like this one okay let me put here the t capital so just copy this and write here the first task. if the first task if the task name is the first task so what we need to perform okay so let's create you need you can write here the print statement or you can write you can create your own functions if you want to perform multiple things so uh, let's write here uh, send send data this is the function that i need to perform when i click on when the first this case will be met so i'm just going to print out something so i just write here the hi so uh, now here i'm going to write here the send data function okay so this is the thing that i'm going to perform okay so um, after this call this call back to special function have been completed what i need to do i need to go here okay and here first of all i need to initialize my work manager okay so just initialize it okay so this initialization need one function okay so uh, let me tell you what values it will accept it will accept a uh, callback dispatcher okay so it needs function so i will call that function so let me paste that function here okay so after this uh, what it says uh, it says uh, it says the callback dispatcher like this way okay so no need to define because it's already a function so you can also write it is debug debug mode true 
uh, what is the meaning of is debug mode true? If you put the debug, debug mode true, it will show us the notification whenever the operation will be performed. Okay. And now, uh, after this, uh, one thing to remember that you have to uh, write the widget flutter binding dot insecure initialize. This is must actually. Okay. So we have to write it. Uh, we, we have a main function as the async, so we have also right here the await function as uh, the await keyword. Now, just go here and let's perform some whenever the uh, this schedule task will be uh, clicked, then what we need to do. Okay, so uh, first of all, we may need to make it the async. And after the async, what I am going to write here, I am going to write here the await and I, I need to register one operation or uh, one uh, background task. So I have the two option here, the basic two option that I have told you here. I think so I have removed this one. So I can perform here the two operations. The first one is the register one of task and then register periodic task. Okay. So periodic task, uh, what it will do, uh, periodic task will do, uh, you can see here scheduling a periodic task that will run every provided frequency. A unique name is required, so only one task can be registered. The task name is the value that will be returned in the background task handler. It's not required, okay? So, but one thing to remember that um, default timer is a 15 minute if not provided, okay? So, a frequency has a minimum of 15 minutes. So, if you provide less than 15 minutes, it will consider as a 15 minute. Okay, so first of all, it will accept the one unique name, so you can get any unique identifier. So if I just write here um, the date time, uh, date time dot now uh, dot seconds. Okay, so this could be the unique identifier, but let's make it not right here. So let me write. Um, here as a unique identifier for s equal to date time oh sorry i think so date time dot now uh, now dot seconds so this could be okay so now uh, let me write here the unique id so this unique id will be used every time whenever the new register will be implemented it says that uh, it accept the the argument type int cannot be assigned to the parameter type of string. So let's convert into the to string. So just write here the to string. Okay. Now the task name. Uh, what operation that we need to perform? Okay. So the task name could be the uh, the task name uh, like uh, whatever the task that we are going to perform. Like I just put here this this task name. So this task name I need to call here. Okay, so if I just write here the task, simple task. So now I need to, uh, I need to, okay, uh, mm, mm, execute task and this task will call here. Okay, so this one should be here. Now, uh, uh, this task have some, whenever we click on this function, it will register the task and we can also task the like the other operations that we can perform is the frequency is the initial delay so let's talk about the frequency so let's talk about the frequency here and let's talk about the seconds like 15 seconds like okay so this is that the frequency that we can follow the other we can talk about as a await we can talk about the work manager and the work manager should as a, a register one of task okay so it is also accept the unique id and the task name so i will task our task name should be the task okay and the other operation that i can perform here the initial delay i think so let me see uh, there's a back of policy there's a initial delay a lot of things that we can perform so let's call here the initial delay okay so initial delay should be the duration and it should be the I just write here the seconds I just write here the minutes I just write here the hours so for now let's talk about the seconds okay and we can also perform some constraints here and our constraints could be you can see the constraints 
as uh, you will see the constraints here this is the constraints okay so we can perform some constraints also uh, the constraint could be the network type you can see there are constraints type network type required battery not low when battery will not be low our our this work will not be performed require charging or uh, like when our charging will be uh, when we will be on the charging then this message or this perform this operation will be performed then if the required storage if storage will not be low then this operation will be performed so these are the things that we can perform okay so if i just putting here putting here if the network type dot connected if our network type will be connected then this operation will be performed okay i hope so you understand till now now let's close this project this uh, this uh, uh, app and run it again because we are working on the main thread and whenever we will work on the main thread we have to close our application so we are running it again and uh, let's see so we have run our application and let's see when we click on this schedule button and our this function will be called uh, this function register one of the tasks will be performed it will show the schedule okay uh, it will show the print task after the 10 seconds this function should be run so let's click on this schedule task uh, okay uh, it says work result success and you will see after 10 seconds hi is printed out okay and you will also see one uh, this now we will see the result is success okay this message will occur when I am going to uh, write I, I write here the is debug mode true if you just comment out or you can write here the is debug mode false then you will not see this notification okay I hope so understand we will perform some more complex tasks in the future uh, in the next lessons so if you are new here just subscribe my channel